Well, hello. <laughs> yes, it's been a quite a long day. We've had some really serious thunderstorms here, but here I am. Welcome to the morning message. July 9th? Yes, July 9th. Oh, it's been quite an afternoon. Hope things are good with you. Uh, Fridays, we are starting a new thing. Um, it is about exclusive content and this Friday I'm going to start it off with a different kind of reading. I'm going to do a reading about past life karma and what is blocking your current progress. Okay, we're going to go all the way around the zodiac. Cards for everybody. Cards for everybody. So you can see that on the uh, front page of the channel. It says join. That's what that means. Okay. Also, I'm going to be doing a uh, another live class on the North Node. If you want to know what your purpose here is, then that's the class to take. The link is below in the description box. <sighs> Messages that want to come through, please. Messages that want to come through. All right, let's see where we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Why? Oh, this card. That card always makes me feel sad. <laughs> Tick tock. This card, on the other hand, makes me feel happy. Um, I feel like you've moved out of a mindset that is very 3D, okay? Why? And the clock, and I've got to deal with, you know, my boss, and I've got to deal with, you know, what's going on in my life, right? That's what this is all about. <clears throat> and now you're moving into this piece, okay? That makes me feel good that you're not really struggling in the 3D world anymore because that tells me that you're moving up. Okay? Moving up. Let's see where we go. Moving up and moving into a place of calm and, I don't know, just like not driven by some false stuff. Okay, some false stuff. So underneath is Four of Wands, World, King of Wands, baby. I've seen this a couple times. Let's see where we go here. Wow, look at you. King of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups. That's the opportunity. That's a wedding. That is a wedding. Page of Swords coming from the universe here. Messages from above. Yes. <laughs> Sun. Wow. Queen of Wands. Oh, I thought so. So there is a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo marriage that is being... Um, for some of you, this could be a third party. For some of you, this is a passionate expression of marriage. Something that wants to change. Okay? Chariot. I feel like this person may be changing spouses. Someone is changing spouses, going right from a marriage to another marriage. Uh-huh. Nine of Swords. Lovers. Oh, yeah, baby. <clears throat> Michigan. Michigan. Michigan? Michigan. Somebody out there from Michigan or going to Michigan or something like that. My dad's from Michigan. Cool. Okay. Uh, so let's see where we go here. Wow. Temperance, Judgment, High Priestess. Th four, five, six. Six major arcana cards in a row. So this does feel to me like someone is tr is changing spouses. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, something that's uh, you they could okay. So some of you could be changing the energy of a relationship. It's very grounded. It's very safe and stable. And now we're in we're adding passion. 
Okay, Queen of Wands, underneath King of Wands. This is what's wanting to come out. I feel like some of you have had a really, I don't know, I'm going to say boring, but in the past have had a boring experience with a committed relationship. And, I'm, and the word boring is on purpose. There's, there was something about it that just, you know, there was just no moving it. So I do believe you have another chance here to move toward relationship, to move toward something. And you're wanting, you're like, okay, um, no offense, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, no offense. This really isn't about you, okay? It's really just about the energy of stability. And no offense, but sometimes that needs a little paprika. Sometimes that needs a little zhuzh, okay? And I feel from the universe... There's going to be some new information coming through. Now, it's a possibility that, let's go back here, that the relationship has become too 3D. It's become too stable, too predictable. And what's needed is a little bit of magic. Fool and magic. Magician. Okay? That's what's needed. You, King of Pentacles, want to be nurtured and be part of a good, stable relationship, but you know it's coming. You know this, this is likely happening within the year. This uh, new relationship is coming, and this scares the you-know-what out of you. Why does it have to be so boring? Why can't we have real relationship? Why can't it stay fun? Why? Why can't it stay fun? Okay? So for others of you, there, you may be married or you may be in relationship with somebody and it has become a little bit boring and this person is trying to add some magic, okay, and add some passion to the relationship. For some of you, this is also a third party going on because they're not able to figure out how to move your relationship forward. They're not able to figure out how to add the magic. Okay, not able to figure that out. The fool has no memory and I feel like this, I feel like um, whoever is wanting to add this fire, King of Wands, King of, I mean King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Who's ever wanted to add the fire is the person who wants the person who wants true soulmate, the person who wants twin flame, the person who is looking at those kinds of things online or here on my channel. We're talking about twin flame and stuff. And so now it's like, okay, I watch all the readings about all that stuff, and you know. I just want to add it to my life. I, it's like, it's fine here on YouTube. I watch these videos and all that kind of jazz. But now it's like, you know what? I'm going to move forward, Chariot. Okay? And has been moving forward, maybe for a year now, toward bringing in some more romance. There, there are going to be a few people who watch this who know that they have been looking outside their marriage or looking outside their committed relationship for that kind of energy. There are people who've been doing that. For the others of you, it's just about how do I get this better? How do I make this better? How can I get this back? How can I get our passion back? How can I do that? So for those of you who are single, um, what this is saying to me is you have a mindset about relationships that it's boring. Going to be boring, going to cut down on my freedom, there's no sex after a certain amount of years, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, I know this, right? This is what you expect. This is your expectation. Well, I'm here to tell you that what's happening here, Sagittarius energy, judgment, and high priestess, is that there is a true soulmate coming in, a past life soulmate that the universe is trying to bring into you. 
and it's not your normal soulmate. Okay? It is not that. It is magic. And how are you going to create a relationship that doesn't get born? Can you take responsibility for that? Can you, be, can, can you as a couple decide, hey, you know what? Everyone's in love, everyone's happy, everyone's joyful right now. How do we not go down that road and just forget about all this? How can we not do that? Because we're King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. We have everything we need. We're, you know, living this amazing life. What's the new path? How do we do that? How do we create something worthy? Worthy of us, worthy of passion, worthy of life. How do we do it? So I'm going to continue on. I will look at Gemini. I see Gemini here. Gemini, Pisces, Sag. Gemini, Pisces, Sag. And then I see the fire signs and the earth signs. Leo. Okay, so <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sag. Gemini. Earth signs, Pisces. Okay. So if you're dealing with any one of those... I'm going to continue on with this reading. The link is below for you. I'll see you over there. Happy morning message.